Urgency, the holy grail of sales. How do we create meaningful urgency that's gonna spring the client into action and make sure that they purchase our product quickly? Well, we all know the cheapest tactic of all, which is to drive price to help build urgency, which is buy it by the 26th, if you don't, the price goes up to this, or there's a discount, if you don't buy it by this time, then the price goes back to rate card. These are really cheap tactics. There's also a massive assumption that's buried in that tactic. And that is that the only reason the customer is buying it is because they're price led or they're price sensitive. Nine times out of 10 in my experience, that's not the case. There's often another reason why we haven't built urgency. And what we're gonna talk about today is something called compelling events. These are the reasons why someone needs to buy your product. As a salesperson, your job is to find compelling events that are gonna drive that urgency, align the stakeholders, and make sure that they purchase your product within an acceptable time frame. The first type of compelling event is a customer-led compelling event. Let me give an example of that. It could be a project that the customer's starting in a certain time frame that needs to be completed by a certain date. It could be a target that they're aiming for, which has a time imposed on it until they need to actually achieve that target. Or alternatively, this might just be the cost of inertia. Um, at the moment, by doing nothing, they're not getting closer to this. Or each day we do nothing, it's costing the organization this. These are all customer-led compelling events. These are really important because these are the things that your prospects actually really care about. Hitting targets, completing projects on a certain within a certain time, or saving a certain amount of money within a certain amount of time. The conversation should go something like this when you've identified that compelling event. It appears to me that this is critical to your business that we get the product in place before this day. If we don't, this is gonna happen. That's the outcome of not doing it within that day. Then we can position our product accordingly. Ideally, we are gonna need a decision by the 24th for the simple reason that we need to organize our onboarding team, our training team, our finance team, or whatever it is you wanna to say to make sure that you're ready to start on that date of the 26th. Is there anything you can see getting in the way of us starting on that date of the 26th? No, great. So I'm gonna use that as our final date that we're aiming towards to get this into the business. We've now aligned to a customer's compelling event. And if you've got an engagement plan, you can put that in there as the implementation date or the date in which they wanna start extracting value and using your product. We also have something called a market-led compelling event. This is something that's affecting the industry sector or market of the prospects that you're selling into. So what could that be? That could be a piece of legislation that's coming into play that they need to act on quickly within a certain time frame. This could be a competitor that's moving into the market. Um, this could be a product that their competitor is uh, about to release into the market, which has a time frame associated with it as well. These are really powerful because this means that they need action and they need to move. If you can find a market-led compelling event, it's a really, really useful way of building urgency with a client. Then we have the worst one, which is compelling event led by you, which always comes down to price, extra inventory, extra services, extra help. And you know what? More often than not, the customer doesn't care. You'll know this because you'll go there and you'll offer them a discount for signing early and they'll turn around and say, we're not interested because they're not price sensitive. They're trying to align your product to their buying cycle. You really run the risk of actually decreasing the value and cheapening your product by going in there and offering a discount when price isn't the reason they're not moving forward and price, more importantly, isn't the compelling event. As always, guys, give these techniques a go. Make sure you're finding those compelling events with your customers. Make sure they're not your compelling events. You get a free toaster if you buy this today. And also, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this with anyone that you think would get value from these uh, videos and anyone who's in sales as well. And as always, happy selling.